what are we you doing know, today? Some days you wake up and you're just like, today is a great day for a really bad idea. So we're in Lyons right now. This is where we both went to middle school and high school. So we, we know all of the trails around this area really well and we've ridden them a lot. There's one trail in particular called Bitterbrush that's kind of like the technical test piece uh, of lions and I've ridden it plenty on my mountain bike and I figured why not try to go and ride <laughs> it on my gravel bike. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna try to ride down the whole thing on this bike. Uh, hopefully not snap the carbon fork in half, but we're gonna see how it goes. I think it'll be interesting at least. It'll be a good time. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Okay. Follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hall Ranch. Hall Ranch, baby. Oh, how I've missed you. <laughs> We're driving cars on a Mars tonight. We're passing up to the stars tonight. We wanna go. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea. It's all right. It's a, it's a good story. We are at the top, which means it's time to drop your seat post. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance I would get down this thing with my seat post all the way up. No, you'd be going face first. Well, I've already had one. <laughs> One casualty. I like. That was a silly. I committed to an uphill corner a little bit too aggressively. <laughs> I didn't have any suspension to soften the rock at all, and so it just like kicked me off to the side. But I'm so, all good. So now we're about to go down some really, really rocky stuff and commit to that. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't make it up the easy uphill. So let's just go straight into the hard downhill. Sounds like a good plan to me. Huh. I could drop it all the way there. There you go. That's sweet. I didn't think I had that much room. It's go time! Dear people, wish me luck. I'm I'm not sure about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure at all. Although, okay. Well, the scariest part is the fact that you're about to be taking J lines this entire way down. Yeah. I explain what a okay. what a J line is. Jordan. So, Chase gave me this very cute pet name, not a pet name, pet riding style, I guess, of J lines, because every line I take happens to be the most inconvenient line to take. So that's the only line I know how to take, because I'm J, so we're gonna take those today, and I just hope that you can make it through. So it'll be fun. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see. Here we go. We're riding. Dear wheels, please stay on the bike. Oh, I can't take my normal lines. Do not take your normal lines. I almost just committed to those corners. I, I think that this is the first feature that I'm kind of curious about. The first little rock slab. There's not really any bad rocks at the bottom. We're good, we're golden. golden. We're golden. First bit done, whoa, hello. <laughs> this is gonna be like the first really spicy bit. I think I'll just have to take it slow. This bit is so fun on the mountain bike though. You could just monster smash through it. Gotta be a little bit more picky and choosy on it, on this bike. What do you think? Should I go for it? Should I go for it? No, I should not go for it. So far, so good. I, oh man, 
Actually, this might be the first bit that I need to think about. Yeah. Oh, okay. That'll be fine. Oh, easy. Yeah. So here's, here's the thing that I've kind of figured out so far. It's really not that bad. I think that things get, like you can perceive them to be super technical. Yeah, Joe. You watch me go down them and then <laughs> they look like they're harder than they are. <laughs> you can like perceive things to be really technical because you're trying to put a lot of speed into them. But like if you slow them down, it's really not that bad. It's just like a few drops over some rocks and then so like this section that we're about to go through right here oh, is always like something that trips me up. Yeah. But I think it'll be fine. It's not too shabby at all. I, I know, it always looks harder than it is. It looks really skinny almost. Yeah. Right? This is the narrow part. Yeah. Yeah. But then you go through it and you're like. Yeah. Nice. So far, so good. The next bit is like the main rock garden on Bitter Rush. I like I have memories of my brother and I coming here when we were younger and like just sessioning this, and like we had downhill bikes on this thing, and uh, we spent a lot of time learning how to ride a mountain bike on this next bit. So it's kind of like the iconic bit of Bitterbrush. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I think the top might be a little bit hectic, but once I get into it, I think there's enough lines that uh, I'll be able to smooth it out quite a bit. Whoa. Holy cow. Holy smokes. Whoa. Oh, this whole inside line. Yeah. Whoa, I just shifted. Think I could do a stoppy? My brakes aren't powerful enough. Yeah. Oh, this bit might be hectic. Yeah. This is going like way better than I expected. Knock on awesome. wood. Like thinking about doing this idea, this is the bit that worried me the most. Right there. It's pretty scary. <laughs> I know. It's super scary. <laughs> uh, all right, so the trail narrows quite a bit here and it's a little bit rocky. This isn't really any gnarlier than anything that I've ridden so far. Um, I think, again, it'll just be taking it slow and picking my way through it. But then it kind of ends with this slab right here. And um, I remembered that there was a rock at the end here, but I couldn't remember if it went across the whole trail or if it was just on the left side like it is right there. And it is just on the left side. And that drop at the very bottom of the slab, I thought was bigger than it is. So I really think, I really think I'm gonna be good. This is a bit that worried me and it looks fine. I think we just gotta do it. Yeah, that was still a pretty big drop. I know you want to hit some jumps. Go ahead. Look at it go. I forgot that I have the bottle cage on the on my uh, oh, yeah. near my bottom bracket. 
And if the drop is big enough, that's gonna catch. Oh yeah. Ah, we're good. High line. High line. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's the uphills that are getting me. These are tricky. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna go this way. I think that drop on on that yeah. other line would be a little aggressive. Well, what's funny is I thought you were gonna take this rock roll to your right. Keep coming. Oh. I thought that's what you were gonna take. I've never even seen that line before. Yeah, that's what Ellie and I took last time. Oh my God, I actually just jumped that. Well, I don't trust this bike enough to do that. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I have to. Oh, we might be here for a while, baby. <laughs> like rarely make it up this on the mountain bike. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost fatal. <laughs> okay, that's really the only hard part is this guy. It's all right, you got that. Take two. I think if I could like break it down like that, yeah. thinking like that's the only hard part. Yeah. Oh, I made it up it. Dude, you made it. So you made it, you I, got it. I made it, I just clicked out. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually really stoked on that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be, gonna be honest. I've been like really struggling with my own like confidence on a bike recently and like doubting my technical abilities, both uphill and downhill. And doing this is like, Really helping that with back. that. Oh, Just good. like sessioning that, and and I feel like there's no pressure expectations of what I can do on a gravel bike on a trail like this. Yeah. And I could just break things like that down and session it until I get it. And I don't know. I think that that helps a lot. Yeah. Like flips. Flips that switch. switch. Well, and I think you're having fun with it too, because yeah. you're like, I, you have no expectation of like, oh, I've ridden this on my mountain bike a hundred times. Why can't I ride it now? Exactly. And now exactly. you're on your gravel bikes. So you're like, well, I don't expect to hit it, but if I do, sweet. No, you know? exactly. Because like I go to uh, <coughs> Chimney Gulch in Golden, yeah. which is right next to our house, and I'll go on these rides and I'll like get to technical bits and I'll just put my foot down and then like walk the rest of the technical bit instead of stopping and trying again. And then all I think is like, well, I've done this before. Why can't I do it this ride? And I think it just takes like getting yourself to stop and try it again yeah. and session something until you get it. And yeah. Like, or do something like this where your ego is put aside and now it's like, okay, this is just fun. And yeah. then you have fun with it and then exactly. it all comes back, you know? Yeah. No expectations. No We're expectations. just like out here doing something ridiculous on a bike <laughs> and having fun with it. Yeah. And it's Aww. so good. It's like a nice, a really nice you. reset. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Whoa. Oh boy. To the tricky. notches. Yeah. Come on, come on. Nice, come on, nice. <laughs> oh, I held on to that as long as I could. You know what? I'll give you like 0.75 for it. Uh, How about that? Bike back. 
I'm so close. Okay. So close. Nice, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that felt so good. Heck yeah! Again, like, all it takes is just sessioning something a little bit and then like, you unlock it and that felt like pretty good. Hell yeah. Dang, I'm pretty psyched. Good. <laughs> that bit's hard on a, Dude, on that's anybody. tricky. What a flying success. As long as they don't wash out in these corners. Yeah! Holy cow! Holy smokes! You just see how much air you just caught? You got like three feet of air that time. You caught so much air! <laughs> we yeah. did it! You rode better brush on the ground bike. Did you go on a date here once? Like in middle school? Like on a hike? Hmm. How do I remember meeting you up in that parking lot for something once? I think you're right. We did it. Holy. And now we got treats. Which one do I want? Hmm, which one do you want? I'll okay. take the OG. Alright. The OG. I'll take the vegan. Boom. Y'all, this is so good. I can't believe you just did that. That was sweet. That was, uh, I was like, I had a feeling that I knew I could do, like, I was pretty confident going into that. But there was sections that I totally forgot about. And that was kind of the funny thing. All the sections that I thought were going to be really tricky ended up being pretty fine yeah and then it was like the bits that i completely forgot about <laughs> that Sneak ended up, up on you yeah that was like yeah. what was hard i always forget that part at the end the up the yeah. little up around the yeah i Makes so <laughs> so here's the thing right i made it all the way down bitter brush on the gravel bike but I think what I learned is that it's the uphill mm -hmm. that is really hard on the gravel bike. So maybe- Is that a part two? Maybe we gotta come back here for a part two <laughs> and try to ride all the way up Bitter Rush on the gravel bike. Oh my goodness. I'll be on my mountain bike, <laughs> but. Who knows? Nutty. All right, let's eat some snacks. Yeah, uh, I wonder when Mike and Matt are gonna be done. I don't know, what time is it now? They said like three, it's three. Really? Mm -hmm. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe you did that. It's a bad idea. Bad idea for a good day. Uh, turned into a good day. <laughs>